Missing something. And finally tonight, the roller skating. And That's the flames. What was missing. The flames. Let's <laughs> not forget that. Fire. Yeah. That's exactly. incredible. They are incredible. Wow. All right, so uh, weather out there, hot, dry, that hasn't changed much. There's some the, wind out there, right? Yeah, but we have temperatures that have been in the mid-80s, a right. little bit above normal for this time of the year. And the thunderstorms, they're still going over southern Utah. Look at what Chopper 5 caught. The fall leaves are changing, and up on the peaks, we're not talking just little pockets. These things are starting to spread, and it's amazing how quickly they turn and how quickly they go. So if you're looking to get out and enjoy them, well, you can borrow the helicopter for a day, or you can just take your own ride up through the mountain peaks. It's a pretty time of the year, and you only get a couple of weeks to see them. Chopper 5, thanks for sharing the photos. All right, let me go and show you our monthly winner. Congratulations, Amy. Your shot of Lake Powell has been voted by our viewers to be the monthly winner for the month of August. Your picture will be featured in the 2020 KSL Les Olson photo calendar. You've also won an HP printer compliments of Les Olson. So Amy, beautiful shot of that beautiful lake. This week's winner, well, Jun Ling, congratulations. Your shot of the Great Salt Lake, some of the smoke in the air from the fires, as well as the beautiful pristine blue skies. Hey, we love it. Jun Ling, thank you. Congratulations. Your picture's featured on KSL.com. You've won a frame print of your shot. And at the end of this month, your viewer, our viewers will have a chance to vote for your picture as well as three others. So thanks for sending in all your photos. It's unreal. We're coming up on literally almost 100,000 photos have been shared during our photo contest. So thank you for all of those who've participated and sent in some incredible work. Let me take a look at the September outlook. How are we looking? Well, the models are projecting for temperature the high probability of above normal temperatures for Southern California and the chance for above normal potential temperature for most of Utah. How about precipitation? Well, below normal high probabilities up through parts of the Pacific Northwest and above normal high probabilities stretching all the way down from parts of Texas and up into parts of Michigan and then over towards Minnesota. But Utah, at least the southeast corner, is in that zone of possible above normal. That no color area means it's an equal chance. So 50-50, it's going to be either wetter or drier. But I think we're going to continue the warmer trend and most likely the moisture that's just been pounding southern, south central, southeastern Utah over the last couple of months will continue to deliver as we've seen it already today. Some more rainfall for places like Cedar City over towards Blanding and Monticello. Moab 75 right now, Monticello's 57, 79 in St. George and looking at Vortex, it's still going. A wave went through Halls Crossing, Lake Powell area, moving over towards Escalante where we still have rain at this 10 o'clock hour. So even with the loss of heat, it's not quite going away yet. Tomorrow, clouds linger. Storms, they fire back up. This time, I think as far west as St. George, and then they'll go to bed Thursday, but on Thursday afternoon, watch up towards the Uintas and a little bit more over eastern Utah. So still, I think, two more days of some active weather, especially over the higher elevations. 88 in Roosevelt tomorrow, 84 in Price, 95 St. George with 80s up the road for Ephraim and Fillmore. Isolated thunderstorms, some of them could produce some decent rain. Cedar City today up towards Bryan Head picked up a tenth to two tenths of an inch. We'll keep a 30% chance of some rain in there for Wednesday, but gone by Thursday for St. George and then sunny and hot through the weekend. Northern Utah tomorrow will start out with sunshine, pick up some clouds in the afternoon, 87 are high. Seven day forecast, Partly cloudy through Thursday, some mountain showers around, but then we bring back the sunshine for the weekend and temperatures stay above the mid-80s to upper 80s all the way through next week. Outstanding. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. All right, with that, let's stick with uh, foot.